Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my shop. Today is May 19th. It's my weekly shop update. So I am back from vacation. It was fantastic. Uh, I think both Lindsay and I really needed that time away. It was really great just to spend time together and to relax for a bit, not to worry about really anything. So that was nice. <laughs> Positano was incredible and then Rome was also quite good, I suppose. I did post a lot about the trip on Instagram as I was there and I did pin them so if you weren't following along or you missed some of it or you want to see it again if you go to my profile page right at top these stories are pinned so all those stories there are pinned so you can check out our adventure in Rome as well as Positano right there so since nothing is really going on in the shop this week and because I didn't really talk a whole lot about Maker Central last week when I was on vacation I thought I'd spend some time today share some of the things I brought back with me and uh, and all that. So I know I said it last week, but I have to say it again. A huge thank you to everyone who came out to the show. It was so great to see and meet so many amazing people there. And just the number of people who turned out to that event it was just mind blowing. It was so awesome. The energy was incredible. It was just an amazing event that I have I've never been to anything like that. So. Thanks to everyone who came, but also thank you to Nick who put on the event and organized that. That must have been a ridiculously large undertaking, so thank you so much Nick for putting it together. Uh, I'll leave a link to Nick's channel if you want to check him out. He does some pretty cool turning and stuff like that. So i got some stuff to share. Let's take a look. So first off, Ellen gave me this nice little bag. It's a little sewing kit. So there's a few sewing things in there. I like these things a lot. These are fun. Those will come in useful for things that aren't necessarily sewing. <laughs> uh, Ellen has a really great little video on her channel of making these little bags and she does a lot of really cool videos like that and she is like super ridiculously nice. So definitely check out her channel. She also gave me this Maker Bingo card. I'm pretty sure I will have this filled out in no time. So next, this is from Rich. I made me this little hockey puck. It's got my logo. Uh, see and see the top of it, which is pretty cool. <laughs> so right at the end of the show, I finally had a chance to meet and talk to Ben Crow. Uh, he is super ridiculously nice, and he was there with his kind of side thing, his vintage tools, but his main thing is Crimson Guitars. Uh, if you haven't checked out his channel before, he does some really amazing work with guitars and stuff. But uh, yeah, I've been mean, I've been wanting to meet him for a long time. And I'm glad I finally did. And he gave me this little set of dividers. It's kind of a one-piece uh, kind of spring mechanism on top there. Really nice little detail on the side. Uh, yeah, I like dividers. Can never have enough of these things. So thank you so much, Ben, for these. These are definitely going to be going in the cabinet. I think I need to sharpen the points. They're a little, a little dull right now. But this is a nice little set of dividers. All right, so Brian from BC Woodworks gave me this little gift here. And he said... I should open it on camera. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to open this thing and we'll take a look and see what this is. Uh, he makes some really nice turnings, a lot of uh, turn tools and things like that, like these mallets right there. So I'm kind of curious to see what this exactly is. Could be a hammer, could be something else. Not really sure, but I'm sure it's going to be beautiful. It's like one of those gifts you just have to keep unwrapping. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. Would you look at that? Look at that nice awl. That is pretty incredible. I. That's pretty nice. Wow. So thank you so much for that, Brian. Really appreciate that. This is going to be up in the tool cabinet. That's just, that's beautiful. And yeah, I have no words. <laughs> and lastly, my buddy John gave me this list of words that can be used in the place of awesome because he always gives me crap for using the word awesome too many times. <laughs> I think I might frame this and hang this in the shop. <laughs> I also got a bunch of little keychains. Go lay these out here. And like, probably like a metric ton of stickers. 
So lots and lots of stickers. I got to meet like there's a ton of people. I got to trade stickers with a lot of people, and it's just it was great. Also got this little on air sign from Lucas. So this is pretty cool. So I have a lot of stickers to put up on the board. I think for now I'm just gonna hang up my pass with the other ones. So I have that safely put away. <laughs> I'll probably also put my baker, my baker, my maker bingo card up here as well. So we can see if I ever win. I also put Lindsay's pass up here as well. Ugh. There we go. There. So yeah, that was Maker Central. I hope this is a recurring yearly thing. I think the first year, from my perspective, went quite well. So thank you again to everyone who came to the show and made it as awesome. Sorry. As astonishing as it was. <laughs> so just to give you a bit of a heads up on what's coming from me here on the channel, uh, this last week we finished up the waterfall tables project in the guild, so that ended up being, I think, 17 videos and 300 minutes of uh, total content. So with that kind of out of the way, I'll produce the version for the, the YouTube version, so that'll be out probably later this week, I think. I'm just going to start getting into that now and get that knocked out. I have the Elfie table, which I am going to be finishing up as well. And I have a few more little shop projects to get done as well. And then kind of simultaneously, I need to get back outside and put the sawmill back together. So I'll have a few more sawmill videos coming out as well. And then I'll start cutting some logs that I've had in my driveway for a long time. So just to give you an idea what's coming in the next few weeks or so. So um, yeah, I think, I think that's all I have for this week. Thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. So Lindsay couldn't say this last week. I'm pretty sure I haven't said it in too long since I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Anyway, <laughs> until next time, <laughs> happy woodworking.